Uh, in this video, I'm going to look at Code Club, look at projects which you can do yourself for free. Uh, Code Club has tons of projects. If you want to learn coding, if you want to get into programming, or just want to learn how things work. This is really good for anyone to get involved. So I will leave all the links below in the description. Today, I'm going to look at module one scratch module one okay so there's tons of modules here we're gonna go for the first one which is rock band and what i like about this is it has step-by-step -step instructions for anyone that's not familiar with this can hit the ground running at no at no time so pace yourself learn don't rush but in this video i'm going to walk you through this project so you'll come across this word sprites sprites uh, so it says here before you can start coding you need to add in a thing to code in scratch these things are called sprites okay so this character here that's what you call a sprite there's plenty in the library we're gonna walk through that so what it says is open scratch and I've opened it in a new tab on the right hand side as you can see I've put the two windows side by side so we can tackle the tasks and see our projects progressing okay so let's do this uh, we've done stage one which is open scratch on the online version and then it's asking us to Click on the X corner to remove the scratch mascot. I've done that earlier, but just to show you, say you have a bear, you can just click on the, the bin icon or the X, depending on what version you're using, and that will remove the, the mascot, the sprite, so to say. And so we can take this off. Next, click on choose sprite from the library. Okay, the library will be found here. Choose a sprite. So we can take this off. And the beauty is whenever you complete a task, you can check mark it. So you can tick it off. And if you're signed in, if you have an account, I'm sure you can see the progress. Uh, so that's really good. Scroll down until you see a drum sprite, it says here. Or what I like to do is just search for drum to find it easier here we go take that off click and drag the drum to the bottom of the stage we've done that give your program a name by typing into the text box at the top I've done that before called the rock band and click on the files and then save now to save your project file save now and it shows me that my project is saved on the top right and we can take that off although it says here if you are not online and don't have scratch account because currently I do have a scratch account you can save a copy of the project by clicking to save to your computer file save to your computer and so you can work on it later if you haven't finished the project you can take on from where you left off all right, so take that off. Next stage. Uh, the stage is the area on the ha on the right, and it's where your project comes to life. Think of it as a performance area, just like a real stage. So this is your stage. At the moment, the stage is white and looks pretty boring. Add a backdrop to it by clicking a choose a backdrop. Okay, let's do that. Choose a backdrop. Take that off. Click on indoors in the list of the in the list at the top, then click on a theater backdrop. Okay, so indoors, then theater, 
Nice. It's coming together quite well. Okay. Take that off. Your stage should look similar to this. It does. That's good. Now you will add code to your drum so that your drum makes a sound when it's clicked. You can find the code blocks on the scripts tab and they all are color coded. So first add music extension so you can play instruments. Click on the add extension button to the bottom left hand corner. Okay. Let's click on here. And then we're gonna add extension music. Nice. See? Now we have an additional tab here. Take that off. Click on the drum sprite and drag these two blocks into the code area on the right. Okay, so the drum sprite is clicked. Now what we need to do is find find the uh, so it's all color coded. So whenever you see this block of code is orange, you can find here the code color. Just look for control. Okay. And okay, maybe I'm going blind. Okay, it's yellow. Fine. So you click on the icon that matches the color and it will show you exactly what you need to place in the middle space. So when this sprite is clicked, it's the first thing we're going to drag, drop it here and then look for this green color. So hopefully it's operations, that's the only green I can see. Oh no, music, apologies. Music. And then we're going to select play drum snare. Okay, we're going to take that one. So click on the drum sprite and drag these two blocks into the code area. So remember this middle space is your code area. These are your blocks. And this is where you're going to see the final output. Okay. Uh, so you got to make sure the blocks are connected together like Lego bricks. Done. Click on the drum to try your new instrument. Okay, let's click on it. Nice. That looks good. So now we're going to improve our drum. So, yeah. Can you change the sound that the drum makes when it's clicked? You can by using this drop down here. Currently is on snare drum. You can use select sidekick, hand clap. Okay. Can you also get the drum to make a sound when the space bar is pressed? You need to use this event block. Okay. So it's giving you a hint here. It said event block. So if you look at the on the left hand side underneath each color code it has a what, what exactly this code is going to represent so this one is motion this one is about looks changing the looks sound events is what we're looking for so now we're going to take the one that says when space key is pressed okay which is the one at the top mm -hmm. If you want to copy existing code, right click on it and then click on duplicate. I think that will make life easier, so let's do that. Right click on the, on the music here, duplicate, take it. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to change it back to snare drum. Alright, so we've done that, which is perfect. Now, we're gonna make a singer. Yay! Now you add a singer to your band, add a singer sprite to your stage. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how to do that? Yes, we do. We're gonna go to the library, choose a sprite from here, and then easy, easy to find people. It should fall under people. We can scroll down and 
find the singer alternatively you can select an all and just scroll down and look for the singer this way but here we go there she is perfect before you can make your singer sing you need to add a sound to your singer sprite make sure that you have selected your singers sprite then click on the sound tab and click on choose sound okay click on that okay and then Oh, sound right at the top here. That's what, I'm looking, that's what I was looking for. Click on the sound tab. Okay. It's better just to follow the instructions, I guess, because it shows you right here what you need to look for. <laughs> so click on the sound tab. Done. And then click on voice in the list. And... So I went down here, choose a sound, click on a voice from the list, okay. Let's search for singer, because that's what they have selected. So singer one, that's what we need. And then we're going to go click back onto the code All right. and then to use the sound we're going to add the following code blocks to your single sprite so when this sprite is clicked that's what we're going to choose first and then We're gonna, okay, this is the one we're gonna select, which is play a sound, single one until done. So if you go back to sounds, this was the name given to this sound that we've selected, which is single one. In the code, all it does is when the sprite is clicked, so when you click on this sprite, which is this lady, and or play that sound single one until that sound finishes so we can click on this we've completed that click on your sing on the stage and see what happens does she sing it's always good to check so let's go ahead sounds really good <laughs> take it off costumes Perfect. Now you'll make your singer look like she's singing. Okay. So now we're going to go into costumes. Okay. We've got a singer clicked. So you select a singer one. Go to costumes. Okay. And you'll see the singer costumes, which we do. That's good take that off right click on the costume and then click duplicate okay so let's right click duplicate take it off click on the new costume called single 2 it's selected so that's good and then select the line tool and draw lines so it looks like your singer is making a sound okay so that looks like the line tool they're using we're gonna three lines here one two three perfect take that off the names of the costumes aren't very helpful at the moment type into the text box of the costumes to change their names to not singing 
and singing. Okay. So we're going to change this one to singing and the one on the top not singing. Okay, so it reflects correctly what each costume really does. So take, take that off. Now, now that you have two different costumes for your singer, you can choose which costumes is displayed. Add these two code blocks to your singer sprite. Okay, let's go back to the code. When this sprite is clicked, mm -hmm. so now we need, we need to get into looks. Let's say switch costumes to singing. Just drag it on top. Play sound singer one until done. And then as soon as it finishes, and uh, switch costumes <coughs> to not singing. Okay, so that's perfect. Click on your singer on the stage. Does she look like she's singing? Good point. Let's try that. Amazing. That looks really good. And um, she does look like she's singing. That's good. Now make your drum look like it's being hit. Use the instructions for changing your single sprite's costume to help you. Remember to test that your new code works. Okay. So we're going to click on the drum. Go to costumes, do the same thing we did earlier. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Drum B, drum A. So we're going to rename this so at least we know when we select the, the codes, which ones to choose instead of A and B, we're going to rename this one drum hit. And the one on top say drum not hit. Okay. So now we've got this selected. We're going to say when this sprite is clicked, we want the look to be. To switch a costume to drum hit. Mm. And play the snare drum for this many seconds. For this many beats and then we're gonna change the costume back. Oh drum not hit. Okay. That looks good. Okay. But I prefer the space. But hey, okay. So what we can do, we can duplicate the code. All right, bit of a mess here. Delete the block. Delete. And we want to go to events. Okay, so it's identical to the, to the one above, except this one is when the space key is pressed. So it makes it a little bit easier. So if I want to click on the singer, using my right click. Okay, so we can I can right click on it. And use the space button at the same time which makes it easier well more fun okay so that's done we tested it the code works so now let's improve your band okay so use what you've learned in this project to make your own band 
you can create any instruments you like look at the available instruments sprites and sounds to get some ideas okay your instruments don't have to be realistic though for example you could make a piano out of muffins <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really cool uh, you can use small sprites from the library and you can also paint your own sprites nice so that's all available to you so if you click on sprite how about we choose drum symbol I like that let's put that here nice okay so let's do the same thing go to costumes call this call this symbol hit and then this one not hit perfect go back to code remember what we're doing is exactly the same thing we did for the drum so we're just replicating the, the process and while that one is selected we're gonna say okay let's do this one and this time choose the up arrow and Go to looks. See so when when that drum symbol is hit, we're going to we're going to play. Yeah, bongo bongo okay go back to looks and then switch customers back and then switch back to not hit so now we have up arrow if you select that you can play the simple drum drum symbol and then the singer if you hit the sprite and then the drum if you Press the space button. Perfect. So let's do that. That's fun enough. <laughs> and you can add whatever you like. You can add. Let's add something else here. Let's go to food. What do we have? Mm. Maybe select some oranges. Okay, select some oranges. And now we can do the same thing. And yeah, pretty much. So. You can add any fruits, animals, bears, whatever you like. Just be creative with it. I'll take that off for now. Scroll down. So if you get your sprite jumping when it changes costume, and make sure it's aligned, okay? That's what I would say. Um, if you have a microphone you can record your own sounds and you can even use the webcam to hit your instruments which is really really interesting I haven't tried that one but that's actually quite cool and um, yeah reflection so yeah congratulations congratulations round of applause stand innovation <laughs> uh, for completing the rock band project well done well done to everyone uh, we would love to know whether you think this project has helped you develop your digital making skills. Now that you've completed the rock band, how confident do you feel about programming in Scratch? Personally, I feel more confident. I'll say more confident. It's always good to respond to 
you know, at the end. And yeah, what's next? Now that you've built your first scratch project, why not take a look at the lost in space scratch project? Click on the green flag to see your see the animation. So this is this will be something for ne for the next time, uh, next module. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts were. How easy did you find it? How hard? Um, what ideas did you come up with? If you want to share your projects, do leave a comment with a link. I will take a look. I'm sure we're gonna and uh, see some great great feedback and amazing projects so yeah keep staying tuned in i'll keep on uh, adding more projects and yeah thank you thank you for watching <laughs>